Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome to season four of the Brand Theory Podcast. I can't even believe that this podcast has multiple seasons and it's on season four. It just feels like yesterday that we launched this. This season, you can look forward to even more high value conversations concerning all things branding and marketing strategies. We're actually going to be diving into a little bit more of those marketing strategies that really do align with you as a person and you as the brand to help you continue elevating your brand exposure, to help you continue elevating your brand mission, your brand values, and collecting, so to speak, or inviting is probably a better word, even more people to join you on your brand mission and your brand, the purpose of of why it is that you are in business and what it is you're here to do. So we're starting a new series on the podcast. We have lots of interviews lined up for you, all really, really great conversations that are going to help you do everything I said before, elevate that brand. But we are going to do a new segment. Um, These are going to be short and sweet, right to the point. I always get It feels like the same questions over and over when it comes to branding and marketing strategies. So I have a list of questions here that I'm going to pull from each time I do a solo episode and we are just going to do rapid fire. My goal is to keep these short between five to seven minutes, give you a quick update on whatever it is that you need to know inside my community, but then dive right into the information that I feel you need in that moment, in that day to help you succeed in that moment and in that day. The goal is for actionable steps steps you can start implementing immediately. So first question, it's kind of a broad question, kind of a big question, but we're going to dive into something that came to me just this morning and something that I've been working with a lot of my clients on to answer this specific question. So the question is, how important is my brand and marketing strategy? How How important is it to have that extremely understandable to myself to my team members, to everybody who could possibly come in and work on my brand. I think you know me enough right now, even if this is the first episode of this you're listening to, (laughs) to say my quick answer would be extremely important. It is, I always explain branding as the DNA of your business. It is the ins and outs of who you are as the business owner. It is the in, in and outs of how your business and brand operates, the experience you provide. It is everything. It's that those physical features such as the colors, fonts, logos combined with the personality of your brand, the what to expect when I'm working with you or what to expect when I'm just consuming your content. That is branding. Marketing strategies really is it can't, you can't have a marketing strategy if you don't have services within your brand to market, right? Like makes sense. And you can't have successful marketing strategies without understanding what it is you're selling and what that brand is. So blanket answer, they are very, very important. But I think what's even more important to help elevate those two things and really, really marry those two things is understanding your customer prospect journey. So we hear a lot about who your ideal client is, what your ideal client avatar is, who that person is, understanding that person so much that you could go out to lunch with them and predict what they're going to order, what they're going to be talking about, what they're watching on TV, what they're wearing, down to continuing that conversation in your head, not looking crazy while doing it. Um, What problems are they facing in their business right now? But following that, beyond the typical okay my ideal client is this person but really following them through your customer prospect journey so taking them from that completely unaware phase of unaware that they have this particular problem that you offer solution to to so fully aware that they know and they are confident that you are the only person that your business is the only business that can possibly help them accomplish that transition from this is my problem to now this is my solution. So understanding that starting point is very important of who this person is, who, what makes them tick, what problems they're facing, but follow them through the steps of your customer journey. So how do they find you? How do they go from unaware 
to aware of you specifically in your brand? Is that through taking a look at your marketing strategies? Is that through your social media? Is that through your podcast? Is that through lead magnets Lead magnets you have set up on your website? Is that through referrals? Think about all of these things that are the starter points for a possible prospect customer. And then what happens next? So let's say, let's use the example of a lead magnet on your website. So they find you through social media. They see a story of yours. You're talking about marketing strategies. That next step would be, okay, they follow you for a little bit. They click on the link in your bio. They see you have a a free resource about a social media checklist of what you should be talking about in a given week in your industry. So you download that checklist. You are now on their email list. But what happens to you next? Are you consuming their emails? Are you falling off their emails? You're not really interested anymore. More. Are you then joining a free webinar of theirs? Are you then going to check out their podcast? Are you then going to check out and subscribe to their YouTube channel? What are you doing next? We've all done it. We've all been a customer, a prospect customer. We've all gone on these journeys with businesses who we sometimes ever buy from or sometimes buy over and over and over again. We just kind of never think about it like that. So think about what is the journey you're asking your potential customer to take? What are those starting points and what are the, all those in-between points? But when you're thinking about all those in-between points, what is holding them back at each place from purchasing from you? So after they get on your email list and you send out your series of emails to try to get them into to both share value in your company and really let them know what your company is about, your mission, your values, um, you know, in that artful way that you do so well, offer them some more of that free content, maybe refer them to your podcast channel or refer them to your YouTube channel, let them know where they can learn even more than what they opted into. But what are those when you do start selling to them or when they do stumble upon your workshops, your paid for workshops, or they do stumble upon your courses, what is stopping them from buying now? So what are they thinking in that customer journey that's stopping them and preventing them from hitting buy now? So that could be a mindset of I'm, I'm afraid of investing myself. I'm afraid of um, not holding myself accountable to purchasing this course and holding myself accountable to actually doing the work. That could be, well, I really want this. I just don't have the money right now, but I'm going to do the work to save for that. So if you know this is how your the mind of your customer journey works, you can then create content to answer those questions or to answer those hangups. So if they are afraid of investing, you can then have an email, you can have social media posts, you can have resources that directly negate, I don't know if that's the correct word to use there, that directly go and fill that fear or or, um, combat that fear. There we go. Knew it would come to me eventually. Um, So you can create content around that. You should know your customer so well that you should be able to read their minds, And before they're even thinking about that, before we give them a chance to really feed into that fear of investing or feed into that fear of not holding themselves accountable, offer them the solution. And that is what takes your marketing strategies and your brand strategies from pretty good to that next level. And that's when you really start to catch catch the flies <laughs> we shouldn't be calling our customers flies right catch those those prospects and really turn them into the paying for clients that come back over and over again of course there's all the things that, that, that you need to have in place inside your brand experience but in terms of your marketing strategy and in terms of understanding your customer so well these are the things that we should be thinking about those hang-ups of what's stopping them from getting from point a to point b in terms of purchasing with you answer those things inside your strategies. Okay, that's it. That's your tidbit for today. Go and think about that. I want to know what you're thinking though. I want to know what hangups your customers are, receiving your prospect customers are going through. If you need help thinking about that, please, please, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. I was just at an event recently and we kind of got into this subject and it occurred to me that I was in a room filled with with marketing geeks and filled with brand geeks and nerds and I I loved it so I love talking about these things so hit me up in the dms explain to me what's going on do people still say hit me up in the dms I feel like that's gone in season four we gotta get up get rid of that um 
We do also have those marketing strategy, brand strategy calls available through the end of the year. We are running, we're still going to run that sale to get a little bit of discount, but that is your tidbit for today. Go think about your customer journey. It is so, so, so important to think about these things before they even know about it. Okay, have a great day and happy strategizing.